Hey everyone, it's an aging zombie here. With Black Ops 6 and its zombies mode just a week away, I want to reflect on the Modern Warfare 3 zombies mode and talk about a few things I would like to see changed if they ever go back to this extraction style mode for zombies. Now before I get into the changes that I'd like to see, I do want to say that I thoroughly enjoyed this game. So the things in this list are just ideas that I think would improve the gameplay loop. And yeah, they a lot of them are from DMZ, I really enjoyed DMZ as well, and I remember it was fairly bare bones when it came out, but then it got some good meaningful updates that really did help out the game. And also, the things I'm going to bring up are additional game elements that I think would enhance the game. I know things like connection issues are a persistent problem that should be looked into along with the game crashes. In addition, the loot distribution from reward portals was pretty bad and that should be reworked. The things I'm going to talk about are separate from these issues, so let's get into it. The first thing is regularly updating missions. I think back to DMZ and how many missions they had for each faction, and I think in this game we had such a smaller limited set of submissions before the big story mission for each act. And while I think more story missions would be great, I know they take much more time to make given they have the ending cutscene. So I'm just thinking more about adding the small side missions for us as players to complete. Like I remember a mission in DMZ where you had to like resupply one of the factions by dead dropping various items like water bottles. And I think something like this would give players a little more to accomplish and also give more meaning to the random lootable items they rolled over from DMZ into this game. Another thing from DMZ that I think would work really well are the passive upgrades. So similar to the missions, they were small things that you could do on the side, like extracting a certain number of lootable items that would give your character permanent benefits. And I do think that they sort of accomplished this with the containment levels, but I think the passive upgrades was a better system compared to the containment levels, especially since your containment level could be reset or reduced at no fault to you if you lost connection or your game crashed. The next thing from DMZ that I think would have worked well is the crafting system. So imagine being able to craft vests, tools, or crystals, maybe even a wonder weapon by using loot gathered around the map. Like I said earlier, I know the loot distribution was pretty bad, so how nice would it be if you could take, like let's say two green common tools and make a rare blue tool? Or maybe even take two refi refined crystals and make a flawless crystal. And maybe things like a wonder weapon, it should be a little more complex but doable. So like imagine trying to make a wonder waffle by trading in like a weapon, a shock stick, a battery, and a light bulb. This one may not be as important if the loot pool was better, but I also do think it's still just kind of a cool idea and would just be beneficial to have in the game. The last thing from DMZ is the wallet system, and I do feel like I remember for the first few seasons there was rumors it would be coming to Modern Warfare Zombies, but never did. It feels like when they added the extraction of essence going towards reducing cooldown timers was their idea of a wallet for this game, and while it was a nice addition, I just don't think it was as impactful as just having a wallet system. I think one big bonus of having a wallet system would be reducing the congestion in tier 3 and everyone fighting for contracts because if I know for maybe like two-ish matches I can just have all the essence I need to buy all the gear I want I could avoid tier 3 and just go straight to whatever dark aether portal I'm going to want to attempt for that run. The next thing I would like to see reworked is the squad size that you are able to infill with. Now, I'm a solo player, so this doesn't really affect me a whole lot, but I understand there's a big community that, you know, likes to play together. And so I have found it odd that the max squad size you can infill in with is three, but then squad up to make a six man. Now, if this game had some type of PvP experience with it, I can understand having the squad size be three. But since this is a PvE mode, it seems odd that you can't just load into the game already at whatever the max squad size is. Now I'm not advocating for them to also increase the number of players that can load into a match. In fact, I think the opposite. I think they should reduce the total number of players, especially seeing how congested tier three gets. So if you're gonna allow six mans to load in, 
you should also then reduce the total number of squads that are loading into that match. The last thing I'd like to see is a better indication of what story mission or dark aether a squad mate has activated. Unless I'm standing right next to the person that's activating the portal, I currently have no idea what I'm voting for to go to. So it'd be nice if it said either which season it is or maybe the location. So for example, season one, maybe it could say Albagra Fortress, Dark Aether initiated. And in addition, it'd be nice to know what level of difficulty that you're gonna go into. So is it just the story mission? Is it a sigil or an elder sigil? And there we have, that's my little list of things that they could do to potentially improve the zombies experience if they go back to this extraction style mode. And who knows, maybe they never go back to it in the future. Maybe this was kind of a dud in their eyes, especially I know the kind of zombies community as a whole prefers the round based. But I do think this mode did bring in a lot of new players. It brought me in, but maybe they just go back to DMZ only and keep zombies round based. I personally would be fine with that. But like I said, if they come back to this extraction style mode, Here's just some things that I think would help. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Until the next one, peace.